Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. This is our second uh, client video from my very generous Patreon uh, patron, Ivan. So what Ivan's asked me to do is to create a video tutorial going over the Surfaces Round Tool. So the Round Tool can be found under the Surfaces menu, Round Tool. And let's open the options here, and we have these tool settings. I'm going to hit the reset tool button to have the default settings here and we have a couple values. We have radius with a value here, tolerance value, and the tolerance value has two options, use preferences or override, with override being the default setting. And what that means essentially is when you have override selected, it's going to look down here for positional uh, tolerance. Right now it's set to 0 0.01. If I click use preferences, positional grays out and it will use a tolerance value set within the preferences of Maya. You can find this under Windows, Settings, Preferences, Preferences, and if you click on the Settings category, you have here Tolerance, and then the first one here is Positional. So this tolerance value, it says Use Preferences, this is the value it will use. Positional Tolerance here in the preferences of Maya, and this one is set to point, at least and mine currently is set to point zero 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 one. So you can override makes the value a little bit different, 0 0.01 instead of 0001. <laughs> okay, I'll hit cancel there to go just leave that as it is. All right, so let's close this for now and let's see what, what does this tool actually do? Well, let me go to create NURBS primitive. Let me go ahead and demonstrate, for example, by using a cylinder, NURBS cylinder. Click this to create it. So by default right now, my NURB cylinder does not have a cap on top of it here. So let me actually delete this one and go back to my cylinder options. And I'm going to tell it for caps, instead of none, I'm going to say both the top and bottom have a cap and hit create. And now we get a capped cylinder. Now if you recall from my original NURB surfaces video from a few weeks back, NURBs just cannot create this kind of shape typically in this kind of way. You'll notice that whenever I select the cap, the cap is a separate piece from the body. Now the reason why when I select the body of the cylinder and it selects both caps is because when I created it over here, let me open the outliner and show you, it actually created a parent-child relationship here where the NURBS cylinder object is the parent of both caps. And what that simply means is when I select the cylinder, it will automatically also select the caps because the caps are parented to the cylinder. If I click on the cylinder and then press down, it will actually select, let me do that again, down, there we go. It will actually just select the cylinder body and not the child, but because they are parented together, it will still move with it. But if I needed to actually select the cylinder body without the caps for whatever reason I can do that by selecting it and then press down to just select the body by itself and then there's the caps that are by themselves so a NURBS object can is if you recall a has to be like that square that's been reshaped into a cube or a rounded uh, sphere or whatever it might be so the round tool looks for two edges like this. If I move this cap up, for example, you see that that cap just comes right off and there's two edges that are flushed together. Okay, so let me undo that uh, movement. There we go. And so I'm going to press 4 for the wireframe so I can, and I'll just go ahead and hide my grid too. I just want to see my, the wireframe of my cylinder the best I can. And now I'm going to go to the surfaces menu, round tool. Your helpline down here at the bottom of my UI will kind of help you out too. Right now mine says at the bottom, round tool, select a pair of surface edges that meet. Okay, so we're looking for two surface edges that meet together. So really helpful to have the helpline uh, and your UI visible when you're using tools. So what the tool wants me to do is select to a pair, so two surface edges that meet together. So I'm going to just drag a box like this around these two edges that meet at the cap and the body of the cylinder and let go. Make sure I get a good view. There we go. So now when I've done that, I can zoom in here and I have this gizmo appear. As I rotate it kind of vanishes and let go, it comes back. 
okay so you see that so what it's wanting me to do is click and drag on these diamond shapes up and down again let me do that again left click on the diamond and drag up and down and it creates this profile curve that it wants to know we're going so the point of the round tool is to round off this edge right so it wants to know well how round do you want it to be what's the, what kind of shape are you trying to make and you can see I can keep on going and going and going but let me just click and drag this up to about right here and hit enter so now I've hit enter let me go back to shaded view so you can see it so I have this shape this shape and then I have this new shape in between here now real quick if you look at my outliner you can see here I have my NURB cylinder with the two caps but now I also have round surface one round surface two and round surface three these three items here now this surface is this black shade because the normals have been reversed if you look back underneath it here you can see how it's nice and gray here let me go back so we want we need to reverse the surface direction of this piece of geometry so if we go to surfaces menu reverse direction let me go into the options here and I'm going to edit reset settings to have default settings here and click reverse so now this is a nice gray shape I can pull it out here uh, you can see on the bottom side over here had that black shade for the reverse normals and there we go so let's look at these options here and I'm actually going to uh, undo some of the stuff that I've done okay so now I've undid it back before I did the reverse surface to the stuff and, and we have this uh, result of the round tool here so what I wanted to do is select it and look at the inputs over here in the channel box we have round constant radius one if I click this it'll display the radius channel of the object so if I click on the radius name middle mouse click and drag and you fold down control to be slower and you can see the radius of this tool of this command controls that shape so even after you've made this shape from the round tool you can still control that radius here in the channel box here's our radius and here's that tolerance it is not listed here in the channel box let me uh here we go let me make a big enough gap through here and then I'm gonna go back to the tolerance there we go so as I adjust this tolerance value you can see there we go is it closer to to zero so you want a really small number it looks like it gets closer to the shape of the original cylinder so if you are finding those gaps like we saw earlier you might need a smaller tolerance value or an adjustment to your tolerance value so the point zero zero one for example the tolerance looks like it's a bit nicer let me go ahead and reverse the surface direction go to surfaces reverse direction now one thing I have noticed let me undo that real quick look over here in my outliner when I do it if I go to surfaces reverse direction I'm going to left click to, to do it but over here in the outliner look and see what happens you see that I have a new object pop up this says round surface to reversed surface so what I actually did is duplicate my surface and so I have the reversed one and then I have a new one that's been reversed and you also keep in mind that this new one does not have the history you don't see that radius here so if you do do this make sure that you're you like the shape that you have so once you've done it if I select this round surface 2 and hit delete now I have the reversed surface here but you see I do have that issue through here so I need to go back actually and adjust more of let me go back before this reverse surface item has been added to my outliner there we go so now it's gone so what I can do is try and go through here and go back to the attribute editor and look at that tolerance value and see if I can't maybe make it match closer there we go match closer to the cap so see there I'm adjusting that tolerance value that's what's happening through here so now I have that flush surfaces reverse again I have that copy through here I can delete the original one and now this looks a lot nicer I still have looks like my tolerance is still slightly off I have a just the slightest gap through here I can see but in any case though that's what that uh, tolerance value is referring to as well as the radius so if we go back to surfaces round tool options I have my radius that's that shape that size of the round bevel we get and then the tolerance is just how closely does it match that original surface you can use the preferences value which again we saw in the in the windows 
settings preferences preferences and you can find it under settings this value here for the positional tolerance or you can override that which is the default value and choose your own positional tolerance through here but even leaving it as the default values you can go back and find it in the attribute editor after you've done it to adjust it so you don't have to worry about getting it right off the the first go but yeah this is the round tool you can again find under the surfaces menu you can create these uh, transitions between shapes and make these nice round transitions through here to hopefully uh, match up those shapes nicely and you can get a nice result through here but that is the round tool i hope that video was helpful let me know if you have any questions or if i missed something please definitely let me know thanks again for watching and thank you for your support ivan really appreciate it hope you have a great day and i'll talk to you all later <music>